Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and today before all the madness with the new stuff starts I want to do another basic video for our new players here in this game and today I want to give you a little Armada crew guide because I made videos on the on the crews you could use I made videos on the different Armadas but I never talked about some essentials of the crewing and that's what I'm going to do today. But before I do this, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do, also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. Now let's have a quick look at what we're talking about. Just the basic ones, the first ones in the um, factions the people will start with, like the not the patrol, which is stuck above the <laughs> armada. Well, eh, hello, Scopely. Um, yeah, I would like to show the armada, but I have to take another. So those are the basic ones people will start with when they start with the armadas. It's the level 21 armadas. But still from this point, it's quite important to know a few rules about the crewing as well. There are, of course, some major Armada crews I talked about in my videos, but especially the Cisco and the Chicote one you will have later in this game. You, you most probably will not have at the stages when you start with your Armadas. And there you need to know some basic things about crewing. And many will start with um, using officers with certain stats and not special Armada officers. It's like with a burning or uh, with hull breaches. And there are some important things to know. First of all, if you have an officer that provides a debuff, and that uh, means hull breach, burning, critical hit chance reduction, and, and stuff like this, only one of those works. So if five players in, okay, at this stage you will not have five players usually, but um, if more players than one in an armada have those, have the same of those, they will not all apply. Only one of those will apply to this armada. For example, um, usually the, the highest level one will, will work. If you have a hull breach one, for example, then um, he only works with one, but the debuff the hull breach, uh, breach player will bring or the hull breach officer will bring will be applied to all that are in this armada. That means one player has a hull breach officer that's working and all other players there get a raised critical hit chance. And um, that is the thing why it doesn't make sense, especially with the Cardassian ones where I talked about that that Gyla is, is a very good one for starting those because they're harder than those Klingon ones and uh, you need to get more power into that than for, for a normal um, FKR one. And then Gyla is, is a good starting officer. But only the one one Gyla will work, so it's no, no use that everyone will, will bring a Gyla as, uh, on their bridges. But still, those stats and, and debuffs will apply. That means when a hull breach is used, then it will increase the critical hit damage of all the player ships within the armada. So one hull breach officer can do that. If burning is used by one player, it reduces the armada hull health by 1% per round. So that means after 100 rounds, you will just by this debuff have killed the armada. And today, of course, I'm, I'm looking down a bit and you will hear some paper because those basic things there is really important that I don't forget stuff and, and uh, that's why I have some notes here. But not like on my uh, more complicated videos with, with complicated topics. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. Um, I don't use a teleprompter over there for a completely written text, I think that's that's uh, would be more boring then. But the good thing is um, that you can calculate with that. And if you are starting on Armadas with your alliance, then it might be good to talk to the others in, in your team 
um, before you start the alliance, uh, the armada, and don't do it with a, with a calling. Really, call before you start, so that everyone can bring different um, debuff officers here. Unless you want to use something like morale, um, shield regeneration, and stuff like that, that only applies to your ship anyway. That doesn't matter what the others uh, bring, and that will apply to every ship. But if you're using um, the the debuff things like hull breach, like uh, burning, then you really need to um, coordinate this with the other guys from your team. And I'm still talking about the the early stages, but it will get important again at the Zindi Armadas because there, if you look at that video again, you also need certain debuffs there, and uh, it will not help if everybody brings the same crew. By the way. Another point that's important about Amadas is the loot, of course. And uh, in one of my videos, I said that I switched to a very small ship to go to an Amada, despite my uh, having completely different ships. But that had to do with the loot. The Amada shows you what rewards you can get. And of course, with loot crews, and so you can, can uh, get more than, than what it shows. But that the reward you see here is evenly spread among the all the members of the armada if their power is yeah kind of level if there are people that are much stronger than others they will get much more loot than those with the less powerful ships and that's the reason when members of my alliance ask me um, i would like to do a bigger armada than i usually do can you send a ship to help? I'm very happy to do that, but I then really only send that ship that's absolutely necessary um, to destroy that uh, armada, um, and a much smaller one that, than I could send, so that those that ask me for help get their loot and get as much loot as they can. Otherwise, if I would send one of my big ships, I would take the majority of the loot away. So you have to think about that as well when you are coordinating armadas with, with others from your alliance. Because um, if they are, for example, in, in this one at the starting point with a four, they are three people in there with equal ships and one com shows up with a much stronger ship, he will take the majority of the loot away. The loot crew I mentioned earlier is no problem here because the um, loot bonuses, they will apply after um, the power of the ships decided what loot which player gets. So if, if somebody brings loot crew, it doesn't harm what, what the others get because it will be applied after it was was uh, divided already. But um, the power of the ships will make a difference. And that's, once again, why I sent much smaller ships than I could to armadas where I'm asked for help by uh, lower level players if they want to do for their uh, level bigger ones. So um, please do think about this when you want to help your um, alliance friends. There are some crews if you don't have um, the good Armada crews yet. I made videos on, on, on the really good ones with the, the best one with Chakotay, the, the second best with Cisco, and the third best um, with, with uh, Riker. And um, if you don't have those, you can start with um, some crews you probably have much earlier than those. One of them would be um, 5 of 11. With uh, 6 of 11 and Khan. That would be one crew that you can use. And so we can, we can just go here. I mean, um, the... Officer presets are always something people are using, but I quickly, um, I think I sent Khan away for an away team mission, but it's, it doesn't matter. Because Khan is, is in there because um, he increases the critical hit chances of, of your ship. That's why he's always a good choice. Um, no, I don't want to use Khan. And uh, 5 of 11 is a good choice. 
because she increases the shield deflection arm and dodge by 200% of the total health of all officers on the ship. And at the same time, she will give you more loot from an armada. And so um, that's a, a big help. And if we look at the group with 6 of 11 and look at the info, when he's on the uh, bridge with Khan and uh, especially with, with 5 of 11 as captain, he will also... Uh, give synergy to 5 of 11, but he himself is when attacking an armada target every time the ship hits the opponent with a weapon attack, he increases the accuracy, armor piercing and shield piercing of the ship by 10% of the total attack of all officers of the ship. So those three are one good combination when you're starting with armadas because you probably will have those officers at the time. Um, they are easier to get than the big Armada crews that I showed you in my uh, Armada crew video. If you're not at this point with 5 of 11 and Khan, then you still have a chance for another crew that you will um, probably know quite well. And that's the one with um, James T. Kirk. This Kirk and uh, Spock and McCoy. And not McCoy, with Spock and then Khan. Because James T. Kirk brings morale to your ship that only applies to your ship and it doesn't hurt if, if more people have a morale officer because they all apply to their own ships. But uh, he also gives uh, the ship a bonus of 40% on, on uh, the officers on the ship, a 40% bonus on all their stats. And so he applies morale himself um, to do that. So that will trigger the other officers a little bit better. And Spock, of course, um, as you know it, he brings you the shield um, bonus. If there's morale, you get restored shield health by, by Spock, depending on your level and, and research, etc., of course, but um, that is another help. One exception, if you're using the Enterprise, um, you don't need Spock because the Enterprise brings that ability itself. Um, but it's working for explorers especially very well um, if you use this, this combination and then with Khan for the critical hit chances. And there are other um, possibilities where I won't go um, that deep into because uh, some of them are quite hard to get now. That's uh, Beverly Crusher. Um, I made a video about her, the the rare Beverly Crusher from Next Generation with um, Picard from Next Generation, but with Beverly as captain. And uh, once again with Khan is another good combination for that. But I had big problems on, on my latest server to get um, that Picard, so I don't know how easy it is for people to get this if you have the good Armada crews um, earlier, like uh, Cisco and uh, and uh, Chakotay, you can use them quite well because they're they are special against Armada. I'm very close to getting the last Armada control center level soon, and uh, so. Um, then I can take uh, six people with me in the Armadas. That's that's the maximum so far. And um, so we we can have a lot of different crews there. But as I said, I'm not talking about the standard crews today because I made a special video about them. But there are some very interesting um, things still to know for, for lower level players. And that's, for example, if you are even lower because you can take part in armadas no matter what level you are. So, of course, the one who wants to start it needs an armada control center and needs directives, but everyone from the Alliance can take part no matter what the level. As I once mentioned before, I have my kind of uh, reserve um, account for for looking at some lower level stuff I need for for the uh, for my videos that level 12 account could take part in Amadas as long as the warp range is there that's no problem uh, I just cannot start Amadas with that but 
um, I can, I could join armadas with it, and and that's the point about uh, lower level players go going, and that's why, uh, for example, your standard crew, almost your standard crew, you use for hostiles in in uh, as early as you can with uh, Pike, Moreau, and usually you would use Chen. But in this case, there's where Gyla comes in. Um, you can use Gyla as the third instead of Chen in this crew for your very first armadas. But as I said, if, if somebody else brings the same um, debuff abilities as Gyla with it, um, it will not apply. So you have to have uh, coordination there again. But coordination is more important um, on, on the earlier stages of the armadas later on. Um, probably people would just use the standard Armada crews and, and, and that's it, or even loot crews. But that's that's something you can really start with, with early. Or um, if you have um, the epic Deanna Troy, you can use her if you're lucky. But those are officers that are usually a little bit harder to get if you're not very lucky and then um, it, it could be a bit of a problem. But all, all officers with debuffs like um, burning and uh, hull breaches will definitely help if they are part of, of one of those crews in the Armada. So one should bring hull breach, one should bring burning, and the others then, if you're still in the early stages, should bring um, officers that boost their own ship because you get the debuff from the hull breach and the burning from the one player that's inside the armada and then you have no problem. And here we have a standard scopely again, but the good thing is that we are um, at the end of um, the video already um, because it's uh, flickering up, but I turn that off for a second. I hope for, for our starters with Armadas, I could give you a little insight here in things to think about. And uh, it's not always about uh, the major crews. It's not always about the power of your ships when you go there. It's also about the little details, especially the loot part is something people often don't think about. And, and please uh, keep that in mind when you're helping smaller players from your alliances that you don't take all their loot away. Um, think about that you can really coordinate what officers to bring with the people you are starting the Armada with. That can often make a difference and help you start bigger Armadas earlier than you usually would have. If you want to um, add something to the Armada basics I just want to talk about today, as I said, I have videos about every single Armada on this channel in, in the playlist and on the cruise, etc. So I really wanted to make this basic one. So if you have to, to add something to the basics, please write in the comments. And if you have questions in general or video requests, you know that I regularly read them. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.